Hello, all you hardcores out there. How are you doing? Let's go see from Focus Corner, biggest gob in sport. <laughs> oh, what a shot! We have a good day today, now. <laughs> right, Roberto. That's right, you, you, Roberto Smith. Zero out of ten, 15 and a half year at the helm of the ship, a British boxing board. I've never control all. Not right. You turned on that. Right. This is how I look at it, right? Michael Alexander, A star referee. Telling the chosen few in South Yorkshire on his WhatsApp. Is that right, Michael? That Roberto Smith at the board is under immense pressure. Immense pressure. How can that be? How can Roberto Smith be under immense pressure? How? How? been taking and taking and taking for years and living it up on the hog and yeah Roberto oh yeah we all know about the 18 month driving ban don't we Roberto where you were chauffeuring about in a limousine aren't you hey eh? that was Right. Conor Ben, right? It's all going to come down to you, Cad, isn't it? From the boxing board of control. So is Roberto going to do the right thing? Or is he going to fold like a deck chair? Is he going to go grovel into that lot of Essex, eh? For a few quid. Are you going to do the right thing? We've got a man here, a 27-year-old, isn't he, Conor Ben? Not a kid. Failing dope tests. And they're writing their own narratives saying, yeah, we've been cleared. We've been cleared. It goes in all newspapers and all public see it. And then we hear, well, you can't have cleared him at Bodan. But the man in the street thinks he's been cleared. So you can't fault them, can you, at Essex for trying to blag it. It's all down to your lot now. Are you going to fold or are you going to lose your arseholes? If that's what it all boils down to, arsehole. Have you got any arsehole, Roberto Smith? You've no knackers when you see me at the show, have you? No, you haven't. And everybody knows you aren't around here. It's when you and your cronies see me, they all bolt. They used to hover around you a lot, didn't you? At Dennis's shows, you know, in big side seats, you know, after. You know, your dicky bows on and your white shirts with a bit of blood on from working. They're all over around wanting to get paid. Like that, with begging bowls are. That's all you lot of us are taking and taking. But well, you've got to stand up and be counted now. Because if you let this slide, your floodgates are going to open, aren't they? What boxer in the right mind and his manager, who's licensed by you lot, is going to want to pay for drug testing against Conor Ben or any matchroom fighter? Who's going to want to put the kid in with a matchroom fighter where there's drug tests and the other side have got to pay and all that? What is all that about? Hey, eh? Who's going to want to fight a matchroom fighter with their fighter knowing that they've got to chip in for drug tests? If it's their show or if it's Matchroom shows, they're, they're going to pay for it. But even if it's Matchroom show and somebody's fighting against Conor Ben, who's going to have the knackers to take Conor Ben on? With all the money they've got and all backup, who's going to want to take them on? Say, for instance, I don't know, 12 months from now, 18 months from now, let's say Dempsey Wales, a British champion. Yeah? Or... 
He's fighting Conor Ben. And Conor Ben's maybe had a couple of defeats by then. We found out. And he's fighting Dempsey Whale from Barnsley. On an Eddie Hills show. Uh, is Mick Whale and Josh Trainer, are they going to be happy? Uh, are they going to be happy with testing situation? Because if Conor Ben fails the test, who's going to want to declare it? I mean, how many tests have that lot, Roberto? How many tests have they buried? Well, they tried to hide the Dylan White one from us, didn't they? His second failure. And this one. But what others has, has there gone by that we don't know about? What? Well, is it a free-for-all? Does drug testing even matter if this if this incident with Conor Ben slides? What trainer in the right mind, manager or fighter, is going to want to fight Conor Ben and say, hang on a minute, he could be on gear in here. It's not going to work out, is it? Roberto, so do the right thing. Do the right thing for once in your miserable little tainer, tenure, whatever they call it. At border control. You've been up, you've been there over 15 years. And I can't think of anything that you've done that's any good whatsoever. All you've done is fill your boots like the rest of them. Which brings me to your latest price, your latest prize, uh price, price lists. I'm just gonna read them out to you. Roberto. Right. Regulation 15.3. Amend regulation as follows. The board or area council shall appoint all referees. Referees fees shall be determined by the board from time to time and at present and at present are as follows. Right. One to nine contest, the first referee. You put that up one hundred pound to two hundred and fifty quid plus expenses. Second referee, two hundred and twenty-five quid plus expenses. Don't forget the mileage that these people get is unbelievable. It's, it, you can be on like you could go from Yorkshire down to like London and back. They get two hundred and fifty quid and they'll get two hundred expenses depending on mileage. Exactly, they get so much per mile. Could be on like. £500 for at night, plus hotel. We know what other things, plus all perks. We know what perks go on, don't we? Right? So it's a good screw, in it? I know referees from Doncaster that live on the money that they get from boxing. And they have a job in day. And they just leave it to build up in bank for years. You don't see a poor referee here. Look at Terry O'Connor. He owns half a Birmingham pop pop bank! Hey. How does he own half of Birmingham in? Right. Ten contests and above. So we've got one to nine contests. We put that up under a pound in each one. Ten contests. First referee, 250 plus expenses. Second referee, 225. Third referee, 200. So if you have a 10, if you have 10 contests and not nine. It's only another, you save 25 quid. So they're saying you've got to put 10 fights on. What? Oh, my God. That is unbelievable, isn't it? And that's just the first one. Second one. English and Celtic Championships and British Eliminators, 300 quid plus expenses. This is A-star referees. Judges, 250 quid plus expenses. And final eliminators in Commonwealth, 350 quid plus expenses. Eliminator judges are now on 300 pound plus expenses. They were on 200, so it's all gone up 100 pound, hasn't it? You know, the 100 quids they add up when you've got all these noses in the trough, <laughs> snaffling all the promoters' money. Bill Jeffries handed his license in yesterday. Bill Jeffries you know, handed his license in yesterday. How's about that one? Stalwater boxing shows at North East. Bill Jeffries, Jaffa. 
handed his license in. How many more are going to hand the license in from small old shows? Without small old shows, Roberto, where does boxing, where's it going? Where's it heading? Why can't these people just do it for the love of the sport and just take expenses? Why can't we get people in who love boxing, right, who will love the game that much that they'll do it for free? Because there's people out there that have got a lot of integrity that would do it just for the expenses alone. You could have, like, people in the in, in, in each individual town. You don't need A-star referees like Ian John Lewis going from London to Scotland in his car here. Claiming all that pop, pop, bang, hey. You don't need that. You get somebody from Scotland to ref it, wouldn't you? It's not rocket science, but it's the only little click in it. It's that little click. All wealthy men. Have you seen the size of Howard Foster's house at Mark? Massive. You're all right, Howard. His house is massive. He ain't got that doing job he's got in day, has he? And all the little perks he's had. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Timekeepers now. This is best one at lot, this. They can't even keep the time. If the home fighter's struggling in a round, they ring the bell after two minutes, 50 seconds. It's happened four times in the last 10 years. And we know shows that run, don't we? Pop, pop, bang. Hey. Eh? Timekeepers. Six, one to six contests. Oh, do, they only, do, do they only let them do six? Well, they've got to concentrate for three minutes at a time. They're watching boxing. <laughs> one to five contests. 250 quid plus expenses. Timekeeper, 250 quid plus expenses. Timekeeper, what... Well, Gone from 125 quid to 250 pounds for that old codger that sits there. Have you seen him? Old fart. First time at 250 quid plus expenses. Second time keeper, 225 quid plus expenses. So one's gone up 125 quid, one's gone up 100 quid. Regulation 22.30.1. Eh? Look at that. Before any contest for English or Celtic championships can take place, a sanction. You don't say it rest. I'm assuming that a sanction has to be paid, doesn't it? Listen, these people, takers, all they do, they take, take. That's what they're taking out of the sport. They're leaving the shows with more money than the promoters on the small halls. These people, it's an old boys club, you know. It's an old boys club. And it wants busted wide open. Nobody's going to come and speak out who's a laminate holder, are they? Do you think Steffi Bull's going to come out and say a word? No. No, they're not, are they? He's not going to come out and say anything, is he? They're not going to say no. Because they're going to work with us. Because they're managing fighters and training fighters. They're not going to want to rock the boat with you shithouses, are they? Have you seen them prices that you've put on it? Oh. What are you doing? You, you know, to put a small old show on now, you're going to need, you're going to need to put at least 10 fights on, aren't you? Nine, 10 fights. To put a small old show on, you lot are snaffling what? Four plus grand out at night. And you've got arena to pay for. Security and all meals. Are you put small old? Are you having a laugh? Are you trying to kill off small old boxing, you shit house? Shit house. I'll tell you to your face, mate. I ain't bothered about security. I'll sneak in with a wig. I'll drench you in Stella if I see you, Roberto. I don't like you. I never liked you anyway. Never liked you. At least I've got the knackers to tell you. And all the rest of them will skirt around you and suck you off at these shows. I know what you are, you. I know what you are. You can't touch me, mate. I'm untouchable. All right. I'm going to keep the pressure on, and I suggest boxing fans keep the pressure on. What we need is somebody with a few tech skills to set up one of them things where you need 100,000, 
views for MPs to get involved. I've got an MP that's going to get involved, but I need the other thousand thingies. So there'll be somebody out there who follows my channel when who agrees with me. Can somebody set one of them up and get it passed about and let's get 100,000 signatures up and running? And if, you know, we can't get the 100,000 signatures, which I doubt because there's only 30,000 people read Ring Magazine, but if we can't get 100,000 100, people to sign it, it won't, won't do anything, will it? No, it'll happen, will it? No, ever happens anyway, but Kogan and Cassius has got 820,000 subscribers. He averages about 16,000 a, a video, so... What are the other 804,000 people doing? Well, we could do with them signing it, couldn't we? But they don't can exist, do they? You know what I mean? It's like Coogan's questions to all these promoters. Bricktop and Eddie Hills. Them questions don't exist, do they? Eh? You don't get that from these people, do we? We don't get transparency, do we? Eh? We don't get it. You know what I mean? battery in it now. Nah. Only thing I've got going for me in my miserable life, isn't it? <laughs> so Roberto Smith, it's game on. Get it sorted. Get them prices put down. And you'll have everybody wanting to put small old shows on, won't you? Hey? If you're gonna put the prices up, you're gonna take extra money out of that show. What what's in it? What's gonna be left for promoters? There's going to be nothing left, is there? Oh, we're going to have a drug dealers washing money through boxing. They're the only people that are going to be able to put shows on, aren't they? Hey, eh? it's a vicious circle, isn't it? It's a vicious circle. So get some at done because you've been milking it over 15 years, you prick. Peace out.